Hello guys, I'm Billy Hoyle talking about basketball style. Guys, when you're on the court, you have to make sure you always look your best. Take a look at my cap. It's the most colorful thing on the court. Ha ha ha. Ahem. Ahem. Damn you, Rodman. Hello, today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Billy Hoyle Funko Pop from the classic basketball comedy, White Man Can't Jump, directed by Ron Shelton. But before we continue, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe so you will be updated when new reviews come out. Billy Hoyle, played by Woody Harrelson, was a wise streetball hustler on the run from gangsters. In the movie, he teams up with Sidney Dean, played by Wesley Snipes, a black street baller, to compete in two-on-two -two tournaments in Venice Beach. They started out as rivals, but eventually, they form a bond and friendship through basketball. Let's take a look at the box. So you see the number 977, the logo of the movie, and of course, the image of the item and of course the item through the plastic from the top this is what you will see the bottom fine print from this side there from the back you see the other item available in the line sydney dean and of course a picture of a basketball court here you see the full image of the item and you have a fence a chain fence as some sort of background with a basketball ring. Let's take it out of the box. Let's take a closer look at the Billy Hoyle Funko Pop. So this is what you'll see here in the front. Okay. You have this nice detail here with the hair coming out of the cap. And of course, you have this very colorful cap. It's holding a basketball. Now, originally in the movie, there's... A statement here in the shirt but of course there might be some copyright issues that's why Funko Pop did not include the words and there's a nice detail here uh, I don't think you might be able to see it but there's some ragged part here which is accurate so you have the sneakers then there's a nice detail here you have a pouch or a pocket So this is what you see from the side, the back, nice colors, okay. side, and the front again. Now let's score the Billy Hoyle Funko Pop using the system I devised specifically for Funko Pops. Essence 4. The Funko Pop was able to capture the look of Billy Hoyle in the movie from the backwards cap and the outfit. This one looks like Woody Harrelson's character. The only thing that prevented it from getting a 5 is that the pop had a static pose. A more dynamic shooting or passing pose would be better. Details and paint job, 4. They did a good job with the paint of this pop and what's more is that the hair jutting out of the cap adds a great detail to the figure. Although I would prefer that they included the words in the shirt of Billy Hoyle. Presence, 3. The pop has an average presence. While it looks good, it won't stand out. Fun Factor 3. The ordinary pose doesn't give the pop a lot of playability, so it's pretty much average. Collectability 3. This is for the older collectors, as kids today don't really know the movie where the pop is based. It would be up to those collectors to add or subtract value to this one. So it's pretty much a gamble. Should you get this? I think it is more for fans. You can pass on this one. So that's the Billy Hoyle Funko Pop. This has been Kulas for Tambay Reviews. Thank you for watching. Keep on playing.